Thank you for listening. I'm Mike Strauss, a.k.a. Strauss21, and this is Apollo Tosh Mahal. We are the guys from the Did You See That Shit Mixed Martial Arts podcast. We know you're going to like the interview, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe on all the social media platforms, as well as the Missing Time Productions YouTube channel. And don't forget to go to didyouseethatshit.com for a complete rundown of all of our content. Right, Apollo? Yeah. I want to welcome back Eric Anders to the show. Has a huge fight coming up here, man, against Tim Williams at Fight Night 135 Lincoln, Nebraska. What's going on? Hey, nothing much, man. Just hanging out, uh, getting ready for the fight. Very cool. Uh, well, I will be there. I will be in Lincoln, so uh, we'll get to meet finally in person, and uh, it's going to be a great fight, man. Tim Williams, I don't know if, if the casual fan really knows about him, but he's 15 and 4 and he's, he's a hell of a fighter, man. This is going to be an exciting fight w- between you guys. Yeah, you know, he likes to press forward and move forward. I like to move forward, so I assume we're going to meet in the, meet in the middle and, uh, you know, let the hands fly. I personally think that you are one of the best prospects right now in the middleweight division. I don't believe that you lost the fight against uh, Machida. I believe that you won that fight, but I'm not a judge. But uh, here we are, and, and this is uh, this is the first time you're going to get to fight in the States this year. Are you excited to be back home? Yeah, you know, I, I enjoy uh, international travel and fighting internationally, so, you know... Uh, I think it's no secret to the to the UFC and, and to the fans that I'm down to fight anybody, anytime, anywhere, and I, and, I, and I truly mean that. So, you know, I'm down to take a road trip or uh, play an away game, if you will. Yeah, I hear you, man. So, you know, I have a question. You had one of your fights was in Bellator. Why did you just have one fight with them? Did you just sign a one-fight deal? Because, I mean, I don't know why they wouldn't have signed you, you know? Um, I'm not sure. That's That's a question for them. You know, um, when I when I fought for them, it was just a one fight deal. They were coming to Memphis, so they asked one of the local matchmakers to to match the undercard. So I, uh, you know, I fought for a, a fight promotion called V Three several times, uh, and was their light heavyweight champion as, a, as an amateur. And uh, man, they gave me the call. I made quick quick work of my opponent, uh, knocked him out in twenty three seconds. And, uh, you know, I thought I did my fair share of politicking, you know. I went out there, introduced myself, and talked to Scott Coker um, and some of the other matchmakers. But, you know, I just never heard anything back or, or got a call back or anything like that. So, um, man, it's all good. No worries. You know, I think it worked out better for me in the long run. No, it absolutely did, man. It absolutely did. And uh, you, you're killing it, brother. Like I said, I don't believe that you lost that last fight against Machida. Have you changed anything up, though, for this camp? Um, not really, man. Just uh, more, you know, the, the main thing that I've changed is uh, my output. I need, you know, to... I think the only reason why he beat me is because he threw and landed more strikes. I know that sounds silly and obvious, but, you know, he was just throwing, like, little leg kicks, so I had, you know, th- during the fight, you know, in my head, I'm like, you know, that's not a significant strike. You know, it didn't do any damage, didn't do anything, changed the outcome of the fight. You know, he just kept touching me with his big toe. And, uh, you know, they were scoring him a significant strike. So I uh, wanted a big takeaway, and I wasn't as active as I would like to be, and, and I usually am. So um, a couple of big big takeaways from, uh, from that fight is, um, man, be more aggressive, not just uh, pressure, not just in their face, but... You know, throw more volume. Um, you know, I had elbow surgery right after the fight, so you know, I was in a little bit of pain. And, you know, I had some injury, injuries going on uh, during the fight. So now I'm 100% healthy. You know, been in the gym, been in the lab for the last six months. And, uh, man, just been chopping it a bit to get back in the octagon. For sure. And also, let's not forget that that fight was in Brazil. So that, that might help just a little bit too, right? I'm sure, you know, <laughs> but at, at the at the same time, you know, I fought a five round fight and wasn't even breathing hard at the end of the fight, and it's not because I have like dog like stamina or anything. It's just because my output wasn't where it needed to be. So I think with a little bit more output, um, you know, I, I I win that fight even more decisively. So, you know, uh, I I don't plan on letting any of my fights go to go to the judges uh, anymore. So. 
uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. I hear you, man. So I was looking on uh, on Twitter, man, and I saw this cool thing. This on Fox Sports, you and and uh, Coach Saban. It looks like this. Uh, it's the story of Fighting Tide. The story of you. This thing looks awesome, man. When when can we expect to see this? Um, I believe it premieres on Fox um, August twenty second. It's a Wednesday. Yeah, you know, Coach Saban was uh, was gracious enough to. To let us get some time, get some of his time, uh, especially during the busiest time of the year, man. You know, he was interviewing coaches, he was out recruiting, um, but he took a day, he sat down with us, watched a little film uh, of me when I was in college playing under him, and then me, you know, fighting in the UFC and whatnot. And it, you know, it was just, um, it was just a great day, and, and it's good to get back to touch blues and reconnect with uh, Nick Saban. I can't wait because, uh, you know, Coach Saban's one of the best, probably the best to ever do it, you know, at the college level anyway. And, uh, you know, what you've gone on to do after your college career, it's really cool, man. I just can't wait to see it. Uh, I appreciate you doing this, Eric. I always like to give guys a few minutes here. Shout out your coaches, training partners, sponsors, whatever you'd like, bro. It's, the floor is yours. Yeah, man, I appreciate it. Um, it's always a pleasure being on the show. Uh, special shout out to uh, Vitamin Energy and Infinite CBD. Uh, you guys can follow me on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, at Eric Anders, E-R-Y-K-A-N-D-E-R-S. And, uh, man, always big thank you to all the, the fans uh, and, and supporters, training partners, coaches, everybody down there at SBG Alabama, uh, Spartan Fitness, and helping me get ready for these fights, man. It's big. Well, I appreciate your time, Eric. Best of luck to you, and uh, we'll, we'll connect in Lincoln. Hey, looking forward to it, brother. Take care, man. Hey, you too. Thank <laughs> you.